for those of you who don't know who I am, I am, my name is Tor, I'm the founder of Coconetic and I was a physio once upon a time in a very dis past and distant life. Uh, and I started up as well Sportex Medicine, a, a peer review journal, a translational peer review journal. So it was taking um, research and turning it into practical application called Sportex Medicine about 22, 23 years ago, which sounds like, feels like a lifetime. And sort of over time, when we were doing that, we were also producing lots of patient information and patient leaflets. And over time, that's kind of developed. And I started to produce more marketing orientated content, so social media and that kind of side of things. And that's kind of where we've got to today. And as I was creating all that content, everyone was saying, well, this is great. I love all the content, but I have no idea how to actually use it or put it into practice. So that is why I created the platform that is now. So that's basically what Coconetic is, is a kind of combined technology and content platform, which originally was more orientated around helping you to market yourself and more recently has become much more sales orientated. So that's a kind of little bit of a background. Uh, why did I build Coconetic? Um, I built it, as I say, I did a bit of soul searching about four or five years ago, worked out that producing a, a, a journal, peer review journal, was like pushing water uphill in terms of trying to make a business work. Um, I did a lot of uh, talking to my customers, existing customers, and a lot of other sort of people around that customer base to sort of find out basically what they really needed. I, when I went into running my own business I wanted to make a difference and I didn't really feel like I was doing that with the journal so I talked to people about what their one thing that used to keep them awake at night about their business and they all said marketing so I delved a bit deeper and I said okay so what is it about marketing that is the problem and these six answers came up in 98 percent of the responses and as you can see by far the biggest one is knowledge or not having knowledge about what you should be doing and the second biggest one predictably is time and then a lack of resources and then a worry about being salesy not being tech savvy enough and then last thing was cost which is the smallest issue that's the dog scratching sorry so what i did was to kind of come up with a a a solution i suppose that tried to overcome all of those obstacles and let's just flick to my marketing and sales funnel. When I kind of started out, we were doing more really the sort of the blue and the green levels. So it was very much about help, helping you to raise awareness of your business and giving you tools and resources that you could use to engage the people on, for example, your mailing list or your existing customers. And that's where we kind of focused our efforts. And then more recently, we've moved into that discovery kind of purchase version level which is is really about turning prospects into paying customers what i need you to bear in mind because i know that as soon as you mention anything to do with sales to therapists everyone goes ah, i hate it which i totally understand which is why i want to just say at this point the strategy that we use and the strategy that i use with all the content that i create is something called content marketing if you've been on any of my webinars before, you will know what I mean by that. But basically, it is about using content to add value without asking anything for anything in return. But you use it to kind of build the relationship and build trust and sort of help to solve pain points for your prospects. And it's more about kind of leading them, indirectly leading them to explore what you do and then ultimately giving giving them an opportunity or an incentive to purchase from you. So it's a very softly, softly catchy monkey process. It's all about adding value. It's all about um, offering education and offering support and all the things that we normally do as a therapist, actually. So it's a very good strategy for, for us as therapists. Um, in terms of the Coconetic subscriptions, let me just mention that quickly. There's four core ones. And each of them now, as from last year, sort of builds on top of each other. So um, the very small one is the patient leaflet one, which is really great in its own right, frankly. It's got lots and lots of patient leaflets that you can use. I'll explain how we use those in a minute. They, they are useful at all levels of the customer journey. And there's share links and all sorts of things, and I'll, I'll talk about that very quickly in a minute. But then the next one up is the clinical education subscription which is more about the professional education content it includes the journal 
And it also includes within it, obviously, the patient leaflets. And then the next one is the social media subscription, which includes the clinical education and the patient leaflets. And the full site subscription is the much bigger one, which is much more comprehensive. And it is the sort of full sales and marketing sort of resource. So very briefly, patient leaflets. Um, yesterday, I was delving into these because I get overexcited about my content because I love it all. And it was taking a long time and my webinar went on for about an hour and I didn't want to spend that much time. So, so let's look at the patient leaflets very quickly. I was doing this online originally, but it takes too long. So I'm just going to give you kind of a quick overview. So these kind of patient leaflets that I'm talking about, they're not your usual sort of stickman handouts. They're nicely designed. They're all sorts of different types of things. They could be infographics. They could be exercise handouts. They could be cheat sheets. They could be, as you can see, newsletters all sorts of different types of things. Um, very useful throughout the customer journey. If you have the branding upgrade, which is included in the full site subscription, but it's an, a, an extra if you have any of the other subscriptions um, at sign up, it's five pounds. So it's, it's definitely worth taking that at that time. So this allows you to put your branding along the bottom of the leaflets, which then gives you lots of other options in terms of what you can do with them. How you can use them in your emails, obviously, these are great for as part of the email nurture process. So if you just want to keep your email list warm, which is a big thing that I try and encourage people to do, then these are great. You can just take the share link. Each one has a share link and you can pop that into emails. You can obviously put them on your social network pages. You can share them on local discussion forums, on your website, or use them as lead magnets, particularly effective when used with some paid advertising as well. Offline wise, so in other words, printing in the old world, um, leaflet dispensers in your clinic, they look really good in there. The infographics, obviously, you can print off and put on walls if you want to. You can post them to past customers. That's something I try and encourage people to do kind of a couple of times a year just to keep customers um, you know, in touch with you and just sort of connected to you. And then there's lots of ways you can use them to distribute distribute them locally through kind of businesses and, and small, you know, cycling shops. And there's lots of it, cycling injuries, running injuries, golfing injuries. Um, you know, they're great little resources to be able to print out with all of your branding on it, your contact details and pop them in. And they add value to the customers who are visiting the shop. Um, and obviously they're a fantastic business card as such for you. And also great to use obviously at local events. Uh, we'll skip that slide because it basically says much of the same. Um, posters. This is a new thing that I've been having some fun with. Our designer is really good, Debbie. Um, she's brilliant. She's been with me right from the word go. That's 22 years of loyal service. And she um, she loves having some fun with some of our content. So these are some of the posters that we've done. And we're sort of doing more of those, particularly the infographics are really nice. Um, easy to print out and stick on your clinic walls and pop in frames and do that kind of thing. They are also included with the patient leaflets. So they're included in all the subscriptions as well. Clinical education is the next one up, um, which is basically the journal is the big difference there that you get the journal. Um, uh, it's kind of a very different kind of journal. As you can see, it's lots of dynamic kind of um, engaging stuff. I, I've always felt that education should be fun, particularly, you know, we're dealing with the human body. It's an interesting, fascinating kind of thing. Um, and I just like to make it fun. So we still do that professional education journal. It's kind of a third physical therapy, a third manual therapy, and then a third marketing and kind of business growth. So that's kind of how it breaks down. Um, but we're probably here, most of us, to look at the marketing and sales side of things. So um, this funnel is probably the most useful. If I'm looking off to the right, don't worry, I've got a big screen on my right hand side. And my camera's there. Um, this funnel, and I'm getting old and I need glasses if I don't use a big screen. Um, that this funnel basically shows you where all the content that we create fits within a strategy. So the important thing about this is there is a strategy. Um, it's a proven strategy. It's what um, industries all over the world use, as I say. And it starts at the top with basically creating awareness and collecting email, email addresses. 
Now, before you kind of shudder and say, oh, I don't want to be one of those people who collects email addresses, you really have to build your email list. It's one of the most fundamental things, building an email list and nurturing that email list so that it becomes a really engaged, warm audience are the probably two key marketing activities, along with building testimonials, by the way. They would be my three things that I would say to anyone you need to focus on. Um, so that top level is all about um, creating social media, which links to a lead collection page. So all of those social media posts would promote something helpful. So they might say, it could be anything, it could be an infographic, it could be something on back pain, it might be um, something on having a positive pregnancy, all sorts of different topics that we cover, but all of them will promote, or a lot of them will promote, a, a an added value resource like a handout or a cheat sheet or, or, or many of those things. Um, and in order to get those, people would go through that sign-up form, and I'll talk you through this in a bit more detail in a minute. Um, and when they do, they would land up on a, a page which would give them access to those resources. And that's part, that's a kind of, that's the core part of our social media subscription, basically. You can see it there in the um, in that top layer, and that's that's kind of that's the key part of that subscription. The only trouble is that without doing some targeted paid advertising, it's very difficult to get those social media posts further out than just a very small number of your own followers. So, um, in order to really ramp up your email building, you do need to use. Um, Facebook ads really and I do have a module which is a Facebook ads module that is included with the full site subscription but it is also a bolt-on that other people can um, buy into and you can buy into like a single campaign just kind of one topic area or you can subscribe and get access to all of them it's completely your choice I've done a very expensive Facebook ads course um, I'm pretty getting fairly handy at Facebook ads now and it's incredibly powerful and very very good way of building your email list so Let's look quickly at that process. So as I say, here's some examples of some of the social media that we've created. As you can see, lots of different looking stuff. We like the infographics, I like animations. Um, it's not your usual clickbait kind of thing, but it's, it's educational, it's reputation building. That's one of the most important things. It makes your page look very authoritative. You know, it's not kind of frivolous. Um, well, clickbaity stuff, really. Um, and the process is that each or many of those posts would go out in the text that I write for you. There would be a mention of um, the link that they can go to download whatever resource it is that we're talking about. They would go to that lead collection page, which is the image in the middle. Um, they'd see what they can download and what how they would benefit from downloading that. And then when they fill the details out, they're dropped into a very cool page. It's probably my favorite page um, where they can download the resources. And they're all branded if you've got that branding upgrade. So it's a very um, professional and um, quite reputation promoting. It's quite a wow, customer wow factor, I think. Um, they're also sent an email, which you can I've, I've written for you or we've written for you. But you can edit as well. And that includes a link so that they can come back to those leaflets if they want to. Um, the third box down there is only to show what some other people do sometimes is they would you would complete that form and you might be diverted to like a file storage area to download your file. That's not what we do, but it's, it's an option if you didn't have a subscription to something like um, us, our stuff. Um, next slide. There's some examples of the email lead collection pages. We'll go and have a proper look at one of these campaigns so you can see what it looks like in a second. And these on the right hand side, you've got the lead magnet delivery pages. So that's the page that they, the post sign up page, I guess, is probably a better way to put that. Um, so as you can see, we tend to have some fun. I liked the bed one for back pain. It was a campaign on, um, you know, sleeping well if you had, if you suffered from black, back pain. Um, and we try and just do fun things with them. Um, and as I say, it's probably my favorite bit. So that's my prompt to tell me to go and have a look and show you kind of in, in the system itself. So let's just go and have a quick look at that. I, otherwise I completely forget to do these things. So we've gone into my subscription, my account. So don't worry about the fact you can see all of these here. I have to test everything. So, um, 
we're going to go into the social media subscription area first. And you can see all the stuff that I was talking about. So we have got obviously the clinical education content, you've got the journal, um, you've got some marketing advice. Those are all the articles that myself and my colleagues write around marketing. And then you've got the patient information resources and the posters, um, some PowerPoint presentations, which I'll come back to. Um, the blog kind of area where I tell you about new stuff that I do it is worth keeping an eye on here because I publish content and <laughs> new technology at quite a rate and quite often forget to tell anyone I've done it. So do keep an eye out in here. I do try and send emails out, but I'm not always the best. So your social media and lead collection campaigns are under this section. So let's jump in there. And you will see a whole variety. Sorry, the internet connection is very slow when I'm recording video. Um, you will see lots and lots of different campaigns under here, loads, I think there's about 27 in total, mix of um, health and well-being, musculoskeletal injury, and sort of sport, I guess. And then occasionally, we've obviously got the Christmas kind of seasonal ones. Um, let's go into the positive pregnancy one, because that's our most recent one. And what we'll do is we'll just um, run through this and then I'll just show you the difference with that and the full site version, because there's two different sort of um, versions of content, depending on which subscription you have. So mainly in here, you will see all the patient leaflets that are associated with this campaign. You'll see the share link there, which is what you can use to share on social media or wherever you want to. Um, I try and encourage people not to share it too much on social media because ideally we want to send them through the lead collection page. So I try and um, encourage people not to give too much stuff away for free, but being therapists, we like to do that. So, um, you know, it's, it's your content, it's yours to do whatever you want to do with. I just try and encourage people to stick to the plan. Um, so you will see in here, there's a button saying jump straight to the social media setup. So let's go and do that. And you can also come to this through this campaigns area. So if you went up to my account, which is the page we started on, you can always get to everything from there. Um, it's either under the main menu or in this little gray panel that we're on at the moment. Um, and so you can also jump to the campaigns in there, but because I can see everything, it looks a bit messy. So I didn't want to get you overwhelmed with with that. So we've jumped into this campaign. You can always get back to the page we were on before by going there, but it does open in a new tab, as you can see. So you could just go back to that new tab. Let's start. Where are we going to start with this? So the thing that you you really will want to know about is the social media, which is all preloaded in here. Um, now, we're not allowed to copy this text into the Facebook's box for you. It's stupid. Um, when we have to seek approval for the app um, that publishes to Facebook, they have to come in and test our platform. So we are not allowed to put that in there for you, which is annoying because that would save you time. But we do give you a kind of copy option here and you can just go along and paste and, and it's all being written for you. So as long as you're happy with what's in there, if you don't want to post to Twitter, don't worry about it, just do it in Facebook. Instagram, we're not connected with yet. We did have a bash at it last year, but they're being very careful about who they let use their API. So we're going to have another go at it um, sort of soon, imminently, sort of months, I, I'm hoping. Here are the recommendations about um, the sort of leaflets. So these are kind of flag up. Here's some important advice about having a positive pregnancy um, experience. I've spotted a typo, I have to change that. Um, some a tip, uh, some tips. There's infographics. There's a guide to exercise during pregnancy. What's the right amount of exercise? Nice little um, animations. I love our animations. We commission these all all exclusively, so they're all unique to us. All this content's unique to us. We've created it on your behalf. So you go along and you. Um, as long as you're happy with all these posts, you just copy that piece of text into there, copy and paste, um, go down through them all. If there's any that you don't want to post for any reason, you just untick that active button and that won't schedule. If for any reason you want to take out the URL, which is the one that links them to the page 
where they're going to sign up for the, these resources, you would just click that disable landing page URL. The only trouble is I try and encourage people not to do that and particularly don't do it if it's referencing a resource, because obviously when they go and click it, there's nothing there. Um, so sometimes there's occasions where that's okay. So particularly kind of infographics, sometimes you could you could leave that out. But obviously the point of this social media is to try and help you to collect email leads. So um, I discourage people from doing that generally. When you're happy, you can update um, all of these and that's kind of ready to go. Now, let me show you. There's an email here which is sent out as soon as somebody signs up to your resources. And this is obviously completely editable. Um, let me show you what that looks like. You can change the image on it. As you can see, there's a choose the different email banner. Um, you can change subject line, and everything, but we put that in there for you. I have a copywriter who writes this content for you. So it's generally better, <laughs> well, certainly than anything I write. Um, and you do have to activate this email and just turn it on to make sure that it fires. Um, that is what the email would look like. It would merge in their first name, obviously, um, and any other details like your business and your name um, and that kind of thing. And it gives them the link there to get back to the resources should they want to. So that's kind of a nice little feature. Any leads you collect come into here. Obviously, I don't run my social media campaigns because I'm not targeting patients, but um, that's where your leads would come into. And this is what your sign up page would look like. Now, just bear in mind, you are not going to gather hundreds of leads unless you are going to do some paid advertising because Facebook has really cut down on on how many posts they let people see. And it tends to always be the same posts and the same people who see the posts. So um, your posts will tend to go around the same little audience of people and they'll be the people who engage in your content. So you are not going to collect hundreds of leads just by posting organic posts to your social networks. You will need to find a way of kind of promoting it wider, um, whether that's through blog posts or um, any other kind of ways that you can sort of circulate the content on discussion forums, whatever else you want to do. So this is the sign up page. Um, it would have your branding at the bottom. Um, so this is just my kind of dummy branding I've got being played around. Um, as soon as people fill out the form, let me just show you. Um, The tick boxes underneath are just GDPR compliancy. Um, I've written a bunch of articles about this. I don't want to go into it now because it can sidetrack things, but um, we have to have those in for compliance. You know, people sometimes tick them, sometimes don't. Um, I have written, as I say, a number of articles which explain um, the kind of the rules and how our stuff works with GDPR compliance. So this is the page that they drop into, quite a nice little neat page. It says click the star icon to see the resources. Um, and you will see as you hover over them, you get different resources. And when you click on one of them, it will um, kick off the patient leaflet, which will also be branded. So that's the patient leaflet in that case. In that one's case, it has some exercises on it. Um, and they're all kind of different types of uh, leaflets. So there's a different one there. So quite a neat, um, a, quite a neat solution and will look very good to your customers or to your prospects. So it's a really good way of kind of getting a bit of a wow factor sort of right from the word go. Um, I think this is my internet connection is probably very slow. I did have some problem with this earlier lunchtime. There we go. Um, so you can see, I mean, they're fun, they're fun leaflets and it kind of looks like you've created them, which, you know, which, which makes it look quite cool. Now, let me see what else, what else have I not, what have I missed here? Um, the setup. So that's all kind of good and easy. Um, setup is even easier. So this is where you get to preview your pages. So that's the sign up page. Um, and if you want to go and have a look at it, you just go and copy and paste it and look at it. And that's the delivery page. So that's where they would go to get the, the leaflets. And this is the link that I suggest you put in nurture emails if you're going to send out um, 
a nurture email to your email list because obviously you don't need to collect their email address so they don't need to go through that hoop and you can just send them straight to that page which is quite a cool page so you don't need to do anything there that's fine um, the main thing is that you've gone in and decided what social media you've you want to run you then decide which social networks you want to run send it to i've done a default um, post schedule so how many times it posts a day but you can change it there's some fixed schedules I wanted to keep this really easy and uncomplicated I didn't want people having to faff around with diaries so I've kept it simple um, and based on kind of best practice times to send posts wherever possible um, so you just if you want to change that you can otherwise you just leave it as it is and then the only other thing you need to do is set a start date which is preferably after today and then an end date which is after that start date I know that sounds really obvious but lots of people don't do that um, so you the idea is to count how many posts you've got live in here if say you had 14 posts and you were doing it once daily then those would have to be 14 days apart and obviously if you did it twice daily they'd have to be seven days apart and so on so that's how simple it is. It doesn't require any technical know-how to be able to do that. It's a bit of editing, a bit of you know choosing a date, and that is it, a bit of copying and pasting. Um, so you can see kind of how technically simple it is to do. Um, we do new campaigns every four to six weeks. So that's a different topic area, basically. Um, don't get overwhelmed by the list that you're going to see in front of you now because obviously I've got I can see everything and there's a different campaign for both um, the social media and the full site subscription because they contain different pieces of content so I'm going to nip into that and then I'm going to ask if, I've got, if anyone's got any questions off the back of that um, let's just go and have a quick look at the full site subscription um, I'm going to use that as a shortcut to get me in there and then you can see what the difference is. So this is obviously the campaign area where you would schedule everything. This is the piece of content where all your attachments and um, PDFs are and everything else that you might want to go with that campaign. So the social media version is here. And as you can see, you've basically got the patient leaflets and you've got some Instagram images resized for Instagram so, so that you can post those for yourself. The full site subscription has quite a lot more stuff. Um, it's got a blog pre-written blog post for you. It has got a nurture email, which is text and images again, but we also have down here a one-click MailChimp template. I always find that difficult to say for some reason. And that is literally, if you've got a MailChimp account, you click that and it pulls it straight into your MailChimp account. You delete my instructions and then you decide who you can send it to and it's done. You might want to edit bits and pieces, but otherwise that is completely done for you. So that will take five minutes once you know what you're doing. Um, again, I've done videos showing you how to do this. It's all documented on video. Um, so it's all very simple to do. You've got, again, the Instagram images. And then we have a PowerPoint presentation. And what this is, is it's an education session that's been written um, for you to be able to deliver an education session. So whether that's face to face or whether that's um, via online, via a webinar of some sort, is your choice. Uh, we always used to do this PowerPoint presentation because that's a quite a, um, a popular method of getting people into the clinic and then converting them into up some sort of upsell, some sort of paid product. Um, so we've always kind of done those PowerPoint presentations, but during COVID, we also built the ability for you to be able to deliver those, take signups and deliver those PowerPoint presentations online if you wanted to. I'll show you that later, so don't let that sidetrack you. Um, otherwise, the campaign area is much the same. There is one extra thing that the social media subscription doesn't have, and that's this other content tab. If you don't have your own blog, um, then we have basically got a hosted blog here for you. Let me show you what that looks like. Again, it's completely editable by you. Um, and that's basically the blog post. I'm on a very large screen, by the way, guys, so don't worry about the fact you've got loads of white space here. I've got the thing maxed out, 
um, on as big as it goes. So, um, so that's why there's lots of kind of space around it. Um, but what you can do is you can then use that URL and you could put a link to it on your website or you could put it um, on your social media or you could put it in a discussion forum would be really good. Um, and people can link to that and it would have um, your your branding. Sorry, that's the dog. Your branding at the bottom. I need to get him to sort that centering out. Um, and so that kind of basically looks like it's yours. You can edit everything in here. You can add you know, information about your therapists or your company names or anything to kind of personalize it a bit more. It's all there totally for you to do what you want to do with it. So that's just a hosted a hosted blog post that we look after for you if you don't have your own blog set up. So that's kind of the main difference in terms of the content in terms of the campaigns. There's quite a lot more that the full site has access to. Um, let me just show you that very quickly and then I will take questions about this particular part. Um, so in here, there are several things. So we call these for full site subscribers content marketing campaigns because it's obviously all the content you need for a campaign, blog posts, emails, presentations, social media, that's a whole lot. Um, um, whereas, whereas, whereas of social media, social media is just, just social media. Social media. Um, um, here, here are the education events. events. So they so are they the PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentations for all the campaigns, campaigns we've done before, before along with along the, the sign-up sign pages, and I will show you this in more detail. We have some, we have some customizable web pages here, which do um, let you take sign-ups, let you take payments, let you do run courses. I will show you that in a bit more detail in a minute. Um, this is where you find the gift voucher sales and management system. That's a new system we developed last year. And I will go into that in a bit more detail in a minute. This is where you find the Facebook lead generation ads and then obviously all the other stuff that you get with the other subscriptions. So that's kind of um, quite a lot of sort of what's extra in that full site subscription. Um, but what I want to show you next is how that functionality changes. So let me just flip back to the PowerPoint presentation and let me just come and see you guys and see if I've got any questions. Uh, how do I get to you? Here we go. Right. So does anyone have any questions? Tor, do clients have access to the leaflets via the links forever or at least as long as we subscribe? That's a good question. <laughs> um, I don't know the answer to that, actually. I must ask that question of my developer. Um, I think they would have access to it forever. So all it would stop you, obviously, is being able to get a link sort of once you've unsubscribed, um, you wouldn't be able to get new links. But I think I'm fairly sure, because I have a feeling that I've had this conversation with my developer, I'm fairly sure that link is, um, you know, has longevity, if you see what I mean. But I will just check that. Um, Pals links post sub. Um, anyone else got any questions or shall I crack on? Silence. Nobody, no, no questions. OK, so let me just push on through the um, through this little bit. Um, I will go sort of more speedily through here. So the nurture layer is this middle layer relationship nurture. So you've collected your leads in that top level and the middle level is all about um, building those relationships with the people that you've collected email addresses for. And what that basically boils down to, I'm going to go here, but I, yeah, I do have got the funnel um, next. Um, regular one or two emails a month, ideally. Obviously, if you have our subscription, um, you can use the nurture, the full site subscription has a pre-written nurture email. So that's kind of a bit more detailed email. And then I kind of say, keep a really, really simple basic email for your second email, just with a couple of links to some useful resources on whatever topic you feel is relevant. Doesn't matter. We've got, you know, four or 500 patient leaflets there. So you're never going to be short of things to send them. And you just drop the link into your email and you just say, found a useful resource. Um, thought I'd pop it over. So you just keep it really simple. None of these big, long, epic clinic updates that really only you um, 
and maybe your mother or other half might be interested in. Um, keep it really, really simple. And it's all about adding value. And the point of these is just to keep in touch with them, to build trust, to establish authority and kind of wait for them to reach potentially a clinical tipping point where they kind of need you. Because lots of people might be, you know, they're happy to get resources from you, but they just actually don't need to come and see you at that point. But it's really important to sort of stay in the forefront of their mind so that when they do want to see or need help, then you are kind of the first person they're going to come to. So that's the sort of nurture layer. And my keyboard keeps going to sleep. And then the conversion layer is what we're going to tackle now. So this is the bit that's really changed on our system. So um, this is the sales, the converting the prospect or paying client um, layer. And I call them conversion events. Um, and we're just going to run through some types of conversion events that you could run and show you how the Coconetic system will help you to do that. Um, and this is where all sort of a lot of our major development has has happened over the last sort of six to nine months. So four ways to generate revenue through, revenue through Coconetic. I've kind of put them into these sort of categories, I guess. Now, remember, all the time or most of the time, we are talking about content based things. So things where there's value. Um, there's a good reason, I, you know, the whole point about this system is to help you to avoid being too salesy. Um, so, you know, that's a that's a kind of really key part of what we're trying to offer you and give you ways to do. That said, the first one is vouchers. Um, that is obviously more salesy, but at least you've got reasonable, you know, everybody expects people to run an, a voucher event around Valentine's or, um, you know, Mother's Day or, you know, so it's kind of, it's not really out of the ordinary. It doesn't, it's not really, doesn't seem like it's very pushy or anything like that. Um, a second type of event would be an education event. So sort of the types of things I've just been talking about, perhaps a presentation on being, having a positive pregnancy, um, you know, running injuries, cycling injuries, headaches, whatever, all the topics that we've got. So that's the sort of education led event, I suppose. Then you've got events that might be happening locally, nationally or internationally. So it could be, um, you know, a local marathon. It could be a, um, a sort of national triathlon. It could be a Olympics. It could be. So you kind of use those to pin your events around. So again, you could still make them educational, but you've kind of got a a pin because of something else is going on that puts it in context. And then you've got business based events and I'll, I'll talk you through each of these. So what we've done is we've built a whole bunch of editable sign up pages. These are these customizable web pages. I call them. I never know really what to call them. Um, you know, there's not really anything else out there that does what we do because it's such a blend of of technology and content put together that it's sort of sometimes difficult to explain to people sort of why it works the way it works. But the idea is we've created these sign up pages. Um, they're all pre-designed. Most of them are pre-written if we know what's going to be happening. Um, some of them, obviously, these custom events, we don't really know what's going on. So we just have to put filler text in and it's over to you to sort of do, but the images are there, the forms all set up, um, the layout is compliant with, you know, the most optimal way to get signups. Um, all you've got to do is edit fields in a form, and I'm going to show you how simple that is to do. You've got five different calls to action, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, not all of the calls to action are relevant for all the different types of campaign, but, um, but there are five potential calls to action there. Um, many of the campaigns have got accompanying social media with them, and we just give you a simple web link that you can send to people you want to sign up. Now, these pages um, do, these are the calls to action that they can do. So as I say, a voucher is a single purchase call to action, and that's it. There's not anything else going on there. You know, they sign up to something, they buy a voucher, they get delivered to a certificate page in, the, in this case. Um, and it's a one off payment. So not all of the types of pages will have all of these calls to actions, but um, I'll show you that in a minute. So the basic call to action is a submit a form. The um, 
the second call to action is a very useful one, actually. That's a book now, download now, or visit. It's a redirect to a web page, basically. So you could, um, people could fill in their details on your form, and then you could redirect them when they click submit to a booking system on your site, or you could redirect them to a private membership area. You could redirect them to um, a file to download, a ticket, a coupon. So there's lots of different options. That That's a really good option, that one. The call now, um, very good if you're going to run campaigns targeting mobile users, but not so good on a desktop or laptop because it does try and kick off FaceTime or Skype or something. But great if you were to do an ad and use that call now because literally you click the button and if you're on a mobile phone, it will ring your telephone number, which is, which is neat. Um, and then you've got the two payment options. These were what we added last year. So you've got the ability for a page to take a single one-off payment or to create a recurring payment. So the kinds of things you could use this for is like a clinic membership. If you've got people to sign up to a sort of once a week or once a month appointment, you could use this. Um, and there's a simple sort of membership management system built into Coconetic to help you manage that, just the same as there is a, a voucher system. Um, so let me, I think the thing to do is now just to go and show you a bit of this. Um, so the time-based events, so those are kind of think vouchers, but you could also do holidays or seasons um, or health awareness days. That's quite sort of easy subjects to, to pin an event around. So the point of these events is that, I always forget to mention this, is that you're trying to get them to buy into something. So you're going to give them, do something for them, deliver them a presentation, do, do something, um, you know, take them for a tour around your clinic, whatever. And then there's a sort of special offer or a bundle or a an incentive to sign up to something there and then. So that's what one of these conversion events are. And they could be any combination of things. This is really up to you to decide kind of what works best for you. Um, so, so that's kind of the idea here. Obviously, vouchers are easy because that's a kind of straightforward thing. But, you know, if it was seasons, for example, you could do, I don't know, get your beach body fit or you know, just ski, snow sport, fitness thing, or, you know, it's totally up to you. These are kind of things that you can create reasons to have an event around. So I'm going to skip through these quickly, and then we'll go into the system and have a quick look rather than darting backwards and forwards. Um, so our voucher system, somebody asked me the other day what's different about our stuff. Um, it's probably a simpler voucher system, to be honest. It won't have all the sort of bells and whistles that some of the dedicated voucher systems do, because I think sometimes you can overcomplicate this stuff. Um, but the point about our stuff is that it's very physical and manual therapy themed. So there's associated social media that will help you promote your campaign and there's certificate. And it's all basically designed with a therapy um, theme in mind, I guess. Um, as I say, this is included in the full site subscription, but it's also a module that can be purchased separately. And my current subscribers get a 50% discount on it as well. So I try and look after my my existing subscribers. Um, skip the, we'll run through the types of events and then I'll go and show you them actually in the system. Um, education events, so as we've said, they include pre-written PowerPoint presentation, um, sign up pages that have been written for you. So all of this content, um, actually, these aren't the education event pages. I need to have a word with the designer about that. Um, but all of the pages would be would have been copy written so that they um, they explain what the PowerPoint presentation is about and how it's going to benefit people signing up to it. These are actually not those pages. Um, Pre-created web sign up pages, as I said, automated email when people sign up. And if you're delivering it online, there's a delivery page. So you would record yourself doing a presentation, much like I'm doing. And then you would um, put a link up. Probably the easiest way is put it on um, YouTube as a as an unlisted video, or you could use Vimeo. Um, and then you would just put that link into our system. And as soon as somebody signs up, they get delivered to your presentation delivery page. The other thing I haven't mentioned on here is that you can also add an upsell to that page. So 
if you're giving a presentation and you kind of say, I don't know, it's a positive pregnancy present presentation, you could say we're giving a special offer on a positive pregnancy pack, um, you know, for three months. Well, you know, I don't know, do whatever massages, whatever you could create that would fit your areas of expertise around positive pregnancy. This is a crash course in marketing as well. Um, so the education events that we've got PowerPoint presentations for are these. These are the health based ones. So you can see quite a big variety of different types of content. And then we've got a bunch of sports based ones. Um, and as I say, we're developing more of these kind of every four to six weeks. Equally, there's a couple of blank templates in there which you can use to run your own event. Now, in terms of who gets access to what, um, most of these presentations are exclusive to the full site subscription, but there are four that everybody with any subscription has access to, which is a running, a benefits of massage, a posture, I think, and can't remember what the other one is. Uh, oh, physical activity, health promotion. Um, so there's four campaigns that I gave people when COVID kind of hit that you could use um, with these PowerPoint presentations and the sign up pages. So you have got those four and you can also, there's also two blank templates that you can use to do anything you want. You could even run courses through them if you wanted to, because you can change everything on the page. And obviously it's just the delivery page, which has got the video of you doing your thing on it. So, um, so it's quite sort of, a, it's quite a neat solution. Um, that's what I was talking about, about the local and international events. Um, health events, health days, this is another good reason. And again, your own custom event. And I'll show you the pages that you can use to do those. And lastly, business-based events. Now, this is the really exciting one. Um, there's amazingly lots of different reasons to have a kind of business type event. So obviously a common one that lots of people use is a sort of taster session. So if somebody joins your email list, for example, you could in your first email that they they get when they sign up to something, you could say, and as a new um, email recipient or new member of our email list, would you like to come in for a blah, whatever the benefit is, taster session, come and try us out. Um, so there's a campaign that's that we've written specifically for that. So there's a page that you would give them a link to and they can go and sign up to that campaign and you decide what it is that, that they're signing up to. But kind of other reasons, um, it could be your clinic anniversary. You could use that. You could be having a, biz, a, big, a big birthday. You could use something like that. Um, could be meet a therapist. They might be new or they might be star or they might be sort of featured for some reason if they had a area of expertise in something that like marathons um, and the marathon was running kind of in the next few months then you could feature them and offer perhaps discounts or promotions to come and sign up to sessions with them you could have a clinic open day i'm going to show you the campaign that we've developed for that um, we have new skills that could be anything really um, and a therapist is trained in something new, um, you've bought some new equipment, you've got a new service you can offer. Um, there's a whole sort of event that you could run around that. Um, you could have a happy birthday campaign. There's lots of things around here. So you kind of get the idea, but they're all sort of business based things, but they're a reason for you to give to create some kind of offer. So let me go and just show you those because there's 20 things. Let me go and show you the what this looks like on the site. So the education events, where should we start? Now let's start with vouchers first. Um, so here are some voucher sort of campaigns that we've set up. We've got quite a lot more of those coming. Let's go into the gift of massage one just for purposes of this presentation. I don't know if I clicked that. Right, so, um, okay, so we have got here some social media that you can use to promote it. We've actually got a poster in this case that we did that you can use to promote the fact that you're running a Give the Gift of Massage campaign. We've got a couple of different template options for the vouchers. So these are designs for your voucher certificate, basically. Sometimes I record a video that is it, um, which just kind of tells you how to use all of this. Um, uh, 
sometimes I run out of, of time and don't manage to do it. Um, and then it kind of tells you everywhere, it gives you shortcuts of how to get everywhere and any help sections you need with sort of how to get things set up and it sort of says getting started, how to set up and manage. So it's all kind of spoon fed as much as I can. If you ever come up with any suggestions of things that I can do to make it even easier, then please let me know. Um, same format, as you can see, as the social media side of things. The email is the email they will get after they've signed up. You don't have to activate that. That triggers automatically. Also includes a PDF attachment of their certificate. This tab will be orders that have come in off that voucher. This is the page where you would edit your voucher page. So let me just show you what, you know, let's blitz over some positive pregnancy. Let me just show you what that voucher sign up page, did something happen there or not? So this is the page that has been written for you. Again, just don't worry about white spaces because I'm on this massive screen. Um, copywriter has written all of this for you. He gives me some other options of copy as well if you wanted to take a slightly different tack. And I give you that content as well. Um, I think that's up here. So there we go, there's some sign up page copy options. So that's just a word file. So if you don't like what we've written, you can change it to your own thing or you can um, or you can use his other variations. Fill out details, you can leave off telephone number, you don't have to ask for that. Um, and basically that is all governed by what goes on on this page. So you can see here, um, you can just change the text. There is some formatting in here, which I don't think you actually need, um, but I have got a little help post showing you what those do. This is like a break and you don't, you don't, this, this doesn't need to be in there. I need to get rid of that. But you can see kind of get your discount now. I don't know, let's change that. It's just basically what's in here will then be reflected. That's the voucher certificate. I'll show you that bit in a minute will be reflected on this page. So you can see kind of how easy it is to make changes just in a form, which are then pop out on here. So get your discount now. So this would change according to what you've written in that landing page tab. So all very easy and straightforward. This is a nickname you can give it. So say this was gift and massage, but you decided to run it for Mother's Day. You could put Mother's Day 2021 in there or something to that effect. Um, leads are obviously the people who have signed up, but you've also got your orders in there too. Social media, because we know what you're doing, we know it's a give the gift of massage campaign. We have given you a whole bunch of social media, just the same as the lead generation campaigns. So just the same format, um, lots of different kind of posts and animations and promoting your voucher campaign. So that's kind of neat. Um, so you can trigger those and obviously people click on the link and they go to your sign up page. So that's all very nice. And the same principles um, are here. You can you just change the start and end date and off you go. Um, that's this. This is the thing that fires the social media. This is the thing that's governing your your um, sign up page. Um, what else do you need to see? You need to see a certificate. Let me show you what the certificate looks like. So as with all the other campaigns, this is the post purchase or post sign up page, this second URL here. So you can see where they go when they've signed up. So here's some, here's the gift of massage. Um, this is, this is our design. We put these little bits in and then your text kind of drops in according to what you've put on this form. Uh, what else do you need to know? You can, that's where you untick to collect the phone number if you don't want to collect the phone number. Um, and you can set a, so here is your voucher price. So this is how much it's going to cost them. There is also a redemption value. So you could, if you wanted, give them, say you were doing two for the price of one, you could give them double the redemption value. So that would be the value they'd had to redeem. And you've charged them £25, £25 effectively to get to 50 back. So, so or you can just make that 25 So that's fine. Um, when, um, you're when you're happy with everything, everything 
If you want, if you to, want you to, you can start, start on a date, date, date. So if it's a time, time limited, limited slot, slot, which I do, which I do suggest you do because it creates, creates that scarcity and that sort of urgency. Um, um, you can start an end date in there. Don't do that, do that until you've tested everything because otherwise, when somebody tries to click on the page to get the voucher, it will say, oops, you're too early. And um, if they try and get it after the deadline's gone, it will say, oops, you're too late. So that's just kind of how you keep timing in there. Um, and these just alter the positioning of the text on the page. So that's left and right, and that's down and up. Um, because sometimes, because it goes onto a PDF, it needs a bit of tweaking just to make it all sit nicely. And very simply, let me show you the redemption um, area. I have to go into my test site, my staging site for this, because I haven't bought any of my own vouchers. So this is under the membership management area. Um, and this is where you can manage recurring subscriptions would be in here if you were running recurring subscriptions as part of a group. So one of the things I tried to encourage people to do over COVID was to set up um, paid Facebook groups where you could give them premium content or support or peer, peer support or um, there's lots of different models you can use to do that. And it doesn't have to be Facebook. It could be any kind of group management system. But Facebook's free. Um, and I've done a different webinar on that, so I won't go into that in detail. But you can manage your joining and leaving of the groups in there, which is quite neat. Um, but not to get sidetracked, this is where you do your voucher. So there's a test voucher in here. You would find the voucher that the person was referring to come into it and you can see that I've already redeemed some payments off the back of it. Um, so I'm going to redeem another five pounds, say, I'm going to add a note in here so that you can say what's been redeemed against just so you've got a record of um, something that you want to know about. So we just literally put five pounds and it takes that down by five and it gives you a little list of what's been redeemed so far. So you can either redeem the whole lot in one go or they can redeem it in part. It's up to you whether you want to let them do that. That's really your choice. So very, very simple. I've kept it very simple because I didn't want to overcomplicate things. So that's the voucher system. Let me just go back to the full site area because that will prompt me. So as I say, the voucher system is included with a full site subscription but you can also um, subscribe to it as a separate model, module if, you're, if you don't have the full site subscription. Um, education events, so let's have a look at those. So we've got the vouchers, we've got the education events, uh, which are the PowerPoint presentations. And let's go, I don't know, let's go into holistic, oh, let's, let's go into holistic wellbeing just to ring the changes from the pregnancy theme. And you will see in here that you've got the PowerPoint presentation and then you've also got the same sort of thing. Let me pop into there. Exactly the same. Oh, did I just think I just clicked on the help post? Sorry. Excuse, yeah, sorry. Yes, one sign up straight to the sign up and delivery page. So this is the one that you want. Again, exactly the same format, same sort of stuff on here. Um, this has the ability to let you set up subscriptions. So you could actually use this for running a course um, if you wanted to, um, for delivering a course or letting people join a membership. Um, I've got different help posts explaining how to use these. This has been built for you to deliver or to take signups to an educational pre presentation. And if you want to deliver it online, you then have a delivery page, which let me show you how that works. So you put your speaker details in here and then update anything in here. Now, if you just want them to sign up and that's it, and then you manage the process from there on in, they'll get an email so you can tell them what to do in that. You just want to take their details, you do the submit form option. But if you want them to buy something, so you could get them to pay to sign up. So if you're going to do like a premium event, you could actually take a payment at this point. And you could also take a recurring payment if you wanted to. And when you click on those options, you then get all the extra stuff that pops up. 
after that. Um, and the, the action, the call to action that you ask them to do decides what page they're going to land on when you've finished. So if you want to take um, submit a form and you've got a video and everything in here, they will sit on the delivery page and you can deliver your presentation and it's all good. Otherwise, you just um, take their sign up and then you tell them how to attend in physical form, if you see what I mean. So you've got your orders and subscriptions there. This is the email that they would get as soon as they've signed up. If you wanted to, to add an upsell, so if you were going to put them on a delivery page, deliver your presentation and ask them to sign up to an upsell there and then, you have that ability to do that. And it's under here called upsell. And you can again specify what that upsell is. Is it just a single purchase or is it a recurring one? You can put descriptions, all that kind of information. And that will be sitting on the page when you're delivering your video. And there will be a payment link there saying, um, you know, if you want to sign up to this great deal, uh, you can do it there. And then that's the email that they will get after they've purchased that product. So that's the sort of second upsell email as, as it says um, media there isn't any media in these because we don't know exactly what you're going to be doing um, social media so you'd need to just do that do your sort of promotion of the event elsewhere but same thing as usual you've got a sign up page here and so that's this is where they would go to sign up so there's, and obviously you would fill out. So you can see here, we've written a lot of the, um, all the text for you based on the presentation that we've written. Um, but obviously if you did make any changes to it, you could, you could obviously edit that. So again, all the same process as before. Um, very quickly, let me just, there's two more things to show you. The other group of, events that I said that you could run were were kind of um, international or local or national. So what we've done here is we've given you themed pages. Now there isn't the real text on these, it's just filler text, but they are they are under different themes. So the anatomy ones will have, you know, if you're doing lower limb or if you're doing ankle or if you're doing shoulder, they're all the anatomy themed ones. These are sports themed and they will be football, they're all the common kind of sports and stuff. Um, and these are health and they are basically um, exactly the same format. Let's go and have a quick look at one. So this is a sort of mountain biking injury one. And basically all that means is the pictures on there are themed. The, the function of the page is exactly the same. So, uh, and it works in the same way that of all the others that I've described. There's a video there that explains how it works. So you can watch that. And let's just have a quick look. Um, all the same stuff that you would see, you've seen with all the others. Let me go and show you what I mean about the themed page. So this is kind of a bit more flexible. It's sort of just a different format. The PowerPoint presentation ones are very much what you're going to learn type thing. There's more body of text there. Um, these are, you know, a bit more kind of um, just generic, really. Uh, you, and you can replace these pictures, actually. So if you wanted to do something on a theme that we haven't got, you can replace all of these pictures and put your own pictures in there. So, um, you know, if you were doing a meet a new therapist, you could have a picture of them. Maybe you had a picture of your clinic in here and maybe a picture of your new therapist and, and your description on here. But obviously, we don't know what you're doing here. So it could be kind of anything. Um, and so that's so these are kind of right nice easy general pages that you can use for pretty much anything um, again same format you can do all the same stuff um, this is where you would change the pictures if you wanted to uh, we, we give you the size size guidelines as well um, so that if you want to swap them out with something else and then i've got this set to take a single purchase let me just um i don't want to take too much time but um uh, yeah, no, I won't. I won't go into that now because we'll, I'll, I'll take too much time. Um, so that's uh, that's that side of things. Um, so they are just my I call them my customizable web pages because I don't really know what else to call them. Um, but the exciting thing about here is that we also have under this section these business 
um, event or business-based event pages. So let me just show you an example of one of those. And this is what I'm going to be building out quite a lot more over the sort of coming weeks. I'm going on holiday on Friday, but after that, I will be back in action doing this. So we did a back in action to kind of get back up and ready for um, lockdown when lockdown ended in the UK. So there was one there and that had sort of associated social media with it. Now, because we know what you're doing in this case, because we know it's an open clinic event, we can give you much more support and much more content to sort of help you run that event. So you've got a description in here. As I say, sometimes I put a video in if I can, if I have time to do it. Um, it explains exactly what's there for you um, and how to implement it. And then let's go and take a look at the page quickly. So it's the same format as everything else, exactly the same sort of template set up here as usual. This other content tab is like, it's a bit like the old blog post, which is why it's got blog stuff in here, but it means you can create an extra link that you can put on your landing page. So if you wanted to give them extra information, for example, then you could do it using that page. So you would rewrite everything that's on here, scrap my stuff, and you'd give them extra information about whatever was going to happen at this event. Um, it just gives you a bit more space to expand out on um, on more than just the the, the sign up page, because we don't you don't really want to distract people on the sign up page. You've kind of got to keep that as short and sweet as possible so that, you know, there's just basically a call to action, which is get on with it and sign up. If you give them too much content, then they're like, Ooh, I don't know. Should I, shouldn't I? And it, you know, it all kind of gets a bit hectic. These images are a bit warped because I've got this screen on such a large um, size as a, not such a benefit. Let me just, I don't know how, how I can shrink that, but normally this picture would be normal. It's not, wouldn't be cut off. Um, so uh, I have commissioned some content for these pages because I know what you're doing. As I say, I haven't had a chance to put it on this page yet, but it will be coming. But uh, as usual, you can edit everything on here. Here we go. This is why you don't need <clears throat> all that formatting. So um, you can just format it normally. Uh, and what did I want to show you about this? Oh, yes. So we have some social media there just to help you promote the event. So some just some general stuff saying, come along and then you you write your information in there they come along to this event um, a couple of other features that I wanted to show you everything else is the same but in the actual piece of content itself sorry I think I could have gone back there just opening up windows willy-nilly I have created this is the call bit some artwork on Canva which is a an, an art editing platform which you can use, you can have a free account and you can use these templates without having any paid account, which, so this is very cool. So if we click on that, it takes you to a template on Canva in a moment, which will load. And this is a template that we've put up there and we've given you the access, the link to, um, and you can sit there and you go, right, yeah, I wanna use that template. And as I say, this doesn't cost you anything. You have a free account on Canva and you can do all of this stuff um, as far as I'm aware under that free account. And when it stops scrolling, slow internet connection, you get the poster. So this is a, an a, is a poster, can be any size you want. You can edit this text in here, as you can see, so you can do whatever you like. You've got lots of different editing options in here. Um, of things you can do. You can edit the date and time, obviously. You can even edit the name, date and time. You can put your stuff on here. So we've we've set all of this up. And then if you're happy with it and you say, right, good, good job, good to go. You can either just print it out or download it and do it on your own printer. Or now this is the cool bit. And I can see lots of ways that we can do stuff to help you here. It plops it on a wall. So it looks like what it's going to be in your poster world. And you can choose what size poster you want to buy from A3 to A1. And you can just buy it through Canva. And the best thing is you can choose numbers of copies if you want to do multiple copies. Um, and obviously print run wise, it goes down 
sort of a fair bit as you go up in numbers. Um, and this system or this ability to have the printing done works across all the kind of countries where most of my subscribers are. So this is relevant in Australia. Um, it works in North America and Canada, New Zealand um, and all the kind of key places and obviously also the UK. So very, very exciting. And I can see loads of things we can do with this to create artwork for you that you can then edit. Um, so there's lots and lots of potential for this open clinic stuff. So let me just recap with my presentation. We're pretty much there. Um, in fact, we are virtually almost all there. Let's get that out of the way. I don't know why that's on there. Um, so those are kind of 20 things you probably didn't know your co-kinetic subscription could do for you. Um, and that is basically covered by all of those pages I've just shown you. So you can do all of those things. And I'm working my way through doing support posts that will help you tell you how to do each of these things. Uh, so that's the first thing. Next slide, a few just key points that I wanted to mention. I think this is the last slide. Um, why are we different? I mean, you can you can get landing page software from other places. You can get social media from other places. Um, the point is that we try and blend both together. So we give you the technology that helps you put that content into work. Um, and it's got pre-created content, which is obviously physical therapy and manual therapy themed. Um, as hopefully you can see, you really don't need any technology skills to use it. Most of the time it's, you know, filling out a form. Um, or just making choices about dates and stuff. Um, the way the oops, the way the content is structured ensures you're you're doing the right things at the right time. So that's kind of helping that knowledge, making sure that there's a bigger picture strategy to it all. Um, point four, really just a reiteration. It's an all-in-one marketing and sales tool that's specifically designed for physical and manual therapy therapists. The full site subscription is geographically mapped, so there is a slight delay. You have to apply for it, basically. Um, there's a limited number of licenses. I map each each license manually. It's less about geography and more about people. Um, I make sure that I map you a territory or a, an area of about 40 to 50,000 people. So that kind of is a, a reasonable amount, I think, as a sort of potential audience. And then nobody else in that area can apply for that license while your subscription's active. Um, you're not tied into any contracts because I don't believe in them. I think that the subscription stands on its own without having to do that. And your price is fixed at the point that your subscription starts. So it doesn't matter what I do. I've always kept the same philosophy for 22, 23 years. I've got people paying £15 for a year for something that is now £15 a month. Um, I, You know, that is my promise to you once you're in, um, as long as your subscription stays active then um, then you will always keep that fixed price. So pretty much that's it. Has anyone got any questions? I've probably stunned you all into submission. <laughs> I know there's a lot there. Um, we have developed a massive amount last year just to give you these ways to, um, to sell, really. Um, so I know there's a lot there. But does no questions? Everyone's silent? Has everyone gone to sleep? Um, that's my pleasure. Thank you, Lorraine. Um, I hope that's been useful. And if anyone's got any questions, I will be online probably for another hour or so, I should think. Um, so if you did want to send any questions over, I'll be on the chat support tool uh, with a glass of wine or a gin and tonic, I suspect. Um, are the how-to guides online as well? Yes, there's a several how-to guides. Um, yes, I know, sorry, there is a lot of information. Um, the, there's a compendium, which is my thing I've mentioned, which is the sort of dual purpose marketing guide and handbook, co-kinetic handbook. So that's online and I will send you a link to that after this anyway. I'm kind of giving that to people because, um, it's a, it's, it was the April journal, actually. I went off piste a bit with the April, April journal. Um, but you can print off the PDFs and there is a, a link to a digital version of it. But I think the PDFs are better because you can print them off and read them in your own time. And then there's the help section, which has got all the videos and the um, guides on how to do things. As I say, with those 20 things I listed there, I haven't covered off all of those yet, but I'm kind of working my way through them. So 
I'm getting there. And if there's anything you specifically want, then just holler and I'll just put that to the top of the list. So I think that's it. Um, thank you for sticking with me. As I know, that was, um, it was a little bit shorter than last time, but still not much shorter. Um, and as I say, any questions, just jump on the chat tool and I will endeavour to answer them. And thank you very much for, um, for hanging out with me this evening. Okay, thanks, guys.